Welcome. You know, project managers have problems, do we not? And some of them are big and some are small, some are simple, and some are rather complex. Hi, I'm Harry Hall at theprojectroostcoach.com, and today I'd like to share with you a simple seven-step process for solving problems. So I wonder what kinds of problems you're dealing with in your projects, and Feel free to drop uh, your comments below. Perhaps you're dealing with communication issues, maybe changing requirements. <laughs> so, uh, no, I'm sure your requirements never change, right? Changing requirements. How about an insufficient budget? You've got somewhere in your project and you just simply don't have enough money remaining in the budget. How about scope creep? Or... What about team members failing to actually complete their activities? Now, worry and anxiety are not productive ways to respond to problems. There is a better way, and I want to provide you with this framework. Again, fairly simple seven-step process for solving problems. And you can use this with any problem. It may be a large complex problem. It may be something uh, that is a simple problem, but you're still struggling a bit with making decisions. So let's take a look at this, beginning with step number one, and that would be to define the problem. You know, far too often people want to jump to a solution. They want to quickly make a decision, and we've yet to really adequately define the problem clearly. Keep in mind there are different people, different stakeholders who have different perspectives and they see this problem through their own lens, do they not? And so this is why it's so critical that we reconcile the differences into a unified problem statement. So step number one, define the problem. Step number two, define the causes of the problem, define the causes of the problem. Uh, let me just uh, give a, 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 an example that we might see in our personal lives. Let's say that a family is having problems with their family expenses and they've been over budget for the last three months. What's causing that problem? It could be that they're eating out too much. It could be unexpected health care expenses or maybe uh, the individuals there are using their credit cards too much. Now, one of the powerful tools that we can use when defining the causes of a problem is the cause and effect diagram. Keep in mind the Pareto rule, the 80-20 rule, 80% 80 of the impact comes from 20% of the causal factors. So, Step number one, define the problem. Step number two, define the causes of the problem. Let's move on. Step number three, define the decision criteria. Now, I, I don't find very many people that do this, but it is such a powerful uh, tool when making decisions. So we want to define, build a decision filter, if you will. Let me give you an example so you see more clearly what I'm talking about, let's say in your company that you're looking to purchase a commercial off-the-shelf software solution. What are the kinds of things that your stakeholders um, might they want to consider in making that decision? Well, the criteria could include costs. We certainly want to look at costs. It could be uh, ease of implementation, okay? A third criteria might be the, the vendor's track record with other customers. And number four, maybe we throw in uh, for consideration how long the vendor has existed. How long have they been in business? So we, we define this decision criteria with the stakeholders. We're getting everybody together on how we're going to make the decision. Step number four. Now we identify the solutions, and we can uh, brainstorm solutions, come up with two, three, four, five different solutions. Step number five, 
select a solution. So at this point in time, we can evaluate each of the, the solutions, the ideas, and we would evaluate that in light of the decision criteria that we defined earlier. Step number six, now we're in a position to implement the solution. So we, this is where we're taking action. We're actually putting things into uh, effect and uh, moving forward. And then the final step here, <laughs> evaluate the results. We want to be sure at the end of the day that we're coming back later, uh, two weeks, a month later, three months later, six months later, and evaluating the decision that was made and are we really moving from our current state to the desired future state in a healthy manner. So what, what about you? What are your problems? What, are, what is a one problem that you're dealing with in one of your projects? Consider this seven-step framework. Uh, use it. Walk through these steps with your team and try, give it a try. Make a decision. And uh, I'm confident that you're going to find that this process provides you with a lot of value. So I hope this has been helpful. If you have any comments or uh, additional questions, feel free to drop those below. And I'll look forward to talking with you another day. Take care now.